Pregnant women are sensitive. It's true, I claim it. And sometimes while sharing in the excitement of the news that a baby's on board, we can say the wrong thing. Etiquette expert Joy Weaver's here to help us avoid a maternity manners mishap. Thanks for being here with us, Joy. Thank you, Kimberly. It's always a privilege. It's just crazy how many people immediately go to the one time, the one story they have where they ask someone when they were due, when the person's not due. It seems like everybody's done it or has a story about it. Everybody has their story and they're just willing to tell it. And so the problem is they always want to tell stories about uh, 48 hours of labor. Oh gosh, that, <laughs> they, is, that I do not want to hear right now. Always want to talk about, <laughs> oh, you know, or they want to talk to the mother about, oh wow, you look like you're about to pop. And so no mother wants to hear that, mother to be wants to hear that. It's and true. I was just talking to a friend and she said that she has a friend that is about to have twins. Oh. And so many people come up to her and say, I can't believe you're that big. Oh my goodness, when are you having the baby? And, and it's not what you want to hear. Not what you want to hear. No, I can attest to it. But what about the situation where you ask someone, "What's you know, when are you having your baby?" or something like that, and they're not really pregnant? Oh, this has to be the number one thing. It call. is right. Oh, okay. Well, the the fact of the matter is, sometimes when women have had their babies, they still look like they might be yes. pregnant. For a little while afterwards, <laughs> that while tummy after. still stays out there. So A, they might not even be pregnant, B, they might have just had their baby, or maybe they're just overweight. So I always say, Kimberly, whatever happens, unless that woman walks up to you, looks you in the face and says, I'm expecting. Do not say anything. Just don't say don't a word. Don't say anything. Just it's go so with hard it. because you want to congratulate someone or celebrate because you're full of joy for but them. But what if the what if they're not? Expecting? It's not worth it, is yes, it? That's not it's worth not it. worth it. It can ruin their life. It can <laughs> actually. It does stick with you because you tell the story for a long that's time right. afterwards, don't you? You also say to always look an expectant mother in the eyes and not at the tummy. Treat the mom to be just as if she is just a normal person. <laughs> look her in the eye, not in her stomach. We, we don't never feel normal though. <laughs> we would never walk up to someone else and look them in the stomach and start talking. So we right. always want to keep it eye to eye. I like that. That's good. It helps us, you know, feel like we still have something to say and something to contribute. You also say to never hesitate to give a pregnant woman a oh. compliment or a chair. Absolutely. Anytime you have the opportunity to give anyone a compliment, I say do it. But especially for someone who's expecting. Mm -hmm. They already feel like they are... Uh, out of the norm, yes. out of their norm, mm -hmm. and so they need that compliment. And they also need to chair anyone who's standing up and there is an expectant mother standing there, oh, they better get up and give her that chair. That is like complete that. rudeness. Can not. I add one to that? Yes. Give them your space in line on the way to the restroom. I like it. Let's <laughs> add that to the list. It's true. You know, we need some, we have emergencies That's sometimes. Exactly right. You talk about avoiding the tummy pat. I actually like the tummy pat. I kind of see it as a little blessing that someone's giving I the baby. I like that you like it. So many women tell me, Joy, number one faux pas is people come up and they want to touch my belly. Mm -hmm. They just want to pat my belly and talk to my belly. And so I think that that went down on the list because so many people say that. But I love the fact that it's okay. But not everybody does. Right. So a lot of people ask me, can I touch your tummy? And I say, oh sure, you know, I'd love it. But then sometimes strangers or, you know, random people will come <laughs> so up and they just touch. But I try to think of it as people saying, oh, this is, you know, a blessing. That's and right. I like that. Anyway, it's fun. To, it's fun to have people celebrate with you because well, it is something to yeah. be celebrated. And what about the baby when it actually arrives? Is it okay? Do oh, no you one think? can touch my baby. No one. There you go. Here. See, so there. You, that's another whole another segment. But that's really a germ issue, right? Sure. Because you don't worry about it this way, but you worry with a newborn. Someone tried to kiss your baby or touch yeah. your baby. That's yeah, right. absolutely. And I didn't really learn that. I used to touch people's babies until I had one of my own, and I started being worried about germs. Okay, let's talk about the baby's name. So many people ask me if we have a name for her yet. We don't, by the way. So there you go. There. <laughs> so many times people have a name mm -hmm. and they don't want to give the name until the baby is actually here. Right. And so maybe it's a family name and they're just not ready to spring it on the family yet. Yes. And so it might be a name. And I just say to parents, why do you always have to give a family name? You don't have to. Mm -hmm. That baby is going to have to grow up with that name and live with that name for the rest of their life. Mm -hmm. Give a strong name. Yes. 
I agree. But I can always tell when we don't have the baby's name, but sometimes I'll throw out some things we're thinking. And even when my friends are trying to be really nice about it, I can tell when they're just trying to be polite and they'll go, oh, oh that's cute. Yeah. Or, they want some wow name. Yeah, it's yeah. true. Everyone's waiting for like the big some impact. Wow yeah, yes. they'll have to wait till the baby's here, that's I right. guess. <laughs> Joy, thank you so much. Thank always you. wonderful tips. I really appreciate it. And hopefully this will help me steer through. And everyone else. The pregnancy journey a little bit better too. So thank you. Cool. If you'd like to ask Joy a question, you can go to just, just askjoy.com.